I recently did a video where I assembled a more comic accurate and actually acceptable version of the Midnight Suns that would work in the MCU. So people ask, since I kicked Punisher and Daredevil off the team because they don't belong, where do they belong? Well, let's assemble the actual Defenders. <laughs> So for those of you that aren't aware, the Defenders in the MCU are a far cry from the actual Defenders in the comics. In the comics, they consist of like the Hulk, Doctor Strange, Silver Surfer, and countless other super powerful characters. Marvel changed it to a street team and that's become more synonymous with the iteration. So for this, I'm going to stick with the MCU iteration, but we're going to fix it up a bit so it makes a little bit more sense. So first up, sorry to break it to you guys. Frank Castle is not a defender. Um, he doesn't belong. Just like he doesn't belong in the Midnight Suns, he does not belong in the Defenders. Because uh, the Defenders do have a degree of a code and a work ethic. And also, Frank Castle is a straight-up murderer who does not follow the rules, which is why he typically does not belong on any team. He is not a defender. He gets the boot. Other characters that are going to get the boot are Iron Fist and Luke Cage. While they work in the contacts here, I think you're better off just making them the heroes for hire and leaving the defenders to more of uh, what they need to do at a grandiose scale. And since Iron Fist isn't always in New York and him and Luke Cage are taking up, well, um, jobs to get paid, that doesn't fully also align with the defenders who are the defenders of justice that typically work for no profit. So what I'm saying here is, you keep Daredevil and Jessica Jones. A member that you gotta add to the team if they can work out a deal with Sony would be Black Cat. She has been a defender. She also falls in line with, I want to help those that need it, but also I'm in it somewhat for myself. You know, with the whole burglary thing and all that, it gives her that Frank style role where he doesn't necessarily fit the team, but she does more as she does have a very good heart and she's not all about murdering everybody. Also, Hawkeye has to be on this team as he is a defender. So he's been associated with the Midnight Suns and the Defenders, but I think it's better to kind of have him just jump between both teams as we've seen that he's been all over the place in the MCU. So if there's one member that can work and also works on a street level, Clint is the go-to solution for me. Obviously, you can bring back Colleen, which I think would be the smarter decision instead of the proper Iron Fist. You kind of split the difference and make her the Iron Fist of this team, while obviously Iron Fist and Luke Cage are off doing their own thing. And you got to throw a curveball in here. So personally, I would toss somebody else that's been on the team. Somebody like a Valkyrie, possibly even Moondragon, or when the X-Men get going, Beast has been associated with the team. So it's not as big of a shakeup as I did to the Midnight Suns, but obviously these members do make sense. And also we can split the difference with the Midnight Suns and, well, have the teams balanced. <laughs> 